Hey Traveling Pandas, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I got a chance to fly in a propeller airplane uh, by Silver Air while in Florida. Now it's a Saab 340, which I believe means it seats 34 people. It seats it in a two by one configuration and on two legs of my trip, I got to sit in two different seats. Now the back row is actually kind of like a bench seat that seats four people. So there's no lab in the back. Uh, there is a laboratory all the way in the front and uh, they don't serve drinks other than some bottled water when you're on the flight. Now I did notice that environmental controls inside aren't as good as on other planes, so it will always was pretty warm, especially in Florida where uh, the temperature was pretty hot. Now I will also say though, uh, when the engines fired up, you know, it's different than a jet plane that there was a little more vibration than, than jets and uh, from a noise standpoint too, it was a little louder. Uh, my noise canceling headphones were almost an absolute must for this uh, type of flight because otherwise, you know, I got a headache on the, the first leg of the flight. As I looked at the engine nacelles, to me it looked like a P-51 Mustang, at least the front end of it. Uh, so <laughs> that uh, was kind of cool to see. Um, everything about the plane is also seems like it's scaled down. In fact, the seats are a little narrower and even the armrests are almost too low to be useful. Like as I put my arms down to the side, you know, uh, the armrests were still a couple inches lower than where my arms would fall. So that was kind of unique. Um, overall, you know, the flight is also a little bit slower, so if you're going from, you know, my case, Tallahassee to Orlando, it's going to be much faster on a jet, but uh, it was kind of yeah, interesting to travel this way. Uh, the people at Silver Air were pretty, pretty helpful and kind, but uh, I would probably skip trying to fly on a propeller airplane if at all possible. Peter Pump out.